Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, fin rot. What is it? How to fix it? How to avoid it? Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Welcome back to the channel, Fisher folks. Today we're gonna to be talking about fin rot and how to cure it uh, and what is it and stuff. But first I just wanna remind you that uh, if you go to my website and buy anything, a gift card, guppies, plecos, quarries, whatever it might be, uh, whether they're imported, homebred, or bred, uh, or, or USA bred from other breeders, 10% of all the sales will go to that little girl, Anna, who tragically lost her mother a few weeks ago uh, in a car accident. And uh, I'll put a link up here to the video where I explain it. Lisa from Super, Super Cichlids is um, organizing a fundraiser and I just wanna do my part and help out as best I can. So that's that's how I can help out. I already made a donation, but 10% of everything you buy will go towards uh, Anna and the cause. So uh, check out michaelsfishroom.com. So Finrot, what is it? Well, essentially, in fact, let me just show you a picture. So this is a video that I uh, found on Facebook and uh, the, the, the owner of this guppy is thrilled with the quality. And when I looked at it, I said, that, that's got really bad fit rot and it's skinny and it looks sick. And I thought to myself, am I missing something? Is this a special red dragon guppy, a new kind that I've never seen before? And so I sent the video to a couple different fishy friends and they all said the same thing I did, that guppy looks sick and it's got really bad fin rot. And I guess people don't really recognize poor quality or good quality guppies nowadays. Uh, it could just be about a price point, whether it's really cheap shipping plus cheap guppies, I, I don't know. Uh, I can tell you that that guppy would have never left, knowingly left my fish room as a red dragon, it would have been a mutt guppy for sure, once it was healed. Um, speaking of healing, how do you heal fin rot? Well, first we have to know what fin rot is. Fin rot is basically uh, an injury to the flesh of the guppy. Uh, and obviously it's the fin, usually 99% of the time it's the tail. Uh, and it's from, it could be from an injury like rubbing up against something, getting caught, in the filter, but most of the time, in my experience, um, it's from poor water quality. So what I imagine happened, I don't know this for sure, I'm just hypothesizing, uh, the guppy was low quality to begin with, was shipped from overseas, probably in a tiny bit of water, maybe held in that bag too long instead of you know a day and a half in shipping, then a trans shipper that repacks it you know, it was maybe two or three days in shipping and then not taken care of when it was released into the, the tank of the cellar. I, I don't know. I'm just hypothesizing. Uh, that's probably from high nitrates in the water, 120, 160 parts per million over some time for it to get like that. Because that doesn't just happen overnight. So uh, what happens when it, it frays, the tail frays and looks like this, um, those are all little injuries and that's all places that infection could occur. So the best cure, in my opinion, what I always do is, is good clean water, zero ammonia, zero nitrites, and I would say under 40 nitrates. You can certainly add some uh, kosher salt or aquarium salt, one tablespoon per five gallons. Um, and if you really wanted to, you can add some antibiotic. I used to always add antibiotic and then I, I slowly stopped. Uh, when antibiotics start to get really hard to get and I I noticed that it, it didn't change really the outcome the clean water is what does what does it best now if you ask on Facebook you're gonna hear Melifix and Pimafix is the end all and then that I mean you just look at the bottle and the guppy all of a sudden not only will it heal itself but the tail will get bigger and the dorsals will get bigger and it'll just become more colorful just because you put a Pimafix or a Melifix into the yeah no that's no, uh, I believe there's no actual proof that that does anything other than cost you money. But people swear by it, so maybe it does something. I don't think so. I've never used it uh, and found it did anything. I tested it once. Anyway, clean water is what you want. Um, and that's it. I mean, that's, that's kind of what fin rot is and how it happens. And if you get a guppy... 
It'll work for any fish, really, but I'm I'm pretty much only into guppies. So if you get a guppy and it has bad fin rot, or you see fin rot in one of your guppies, check the water parameters. More than likely, it's nitrates. Uh, it could be from a fight or something, for sure, but usually the tail is kind of split like this, not like this, like, like that picture. So like I said, clean water is your best bet to fix it. Uh, again, you can add some salt. You can add a, an antibiotic. I would go with a... A broad spectrum, uh, gram positive, gram negative. Uh, Furan 2 is the name brand. Uh, I can't remember what the off brand is. I'll put a link down below though for you so you can check that out. Um, but really good clean water is what you want. And that's that. I mean, it, it's not that big a deal. It can easily be fixed. Uh, we see it a lot in bettas also with the big droopy tails uh, because a lot of people just don't take care of bettas, I guess, so the water quality fails. I, I don't know, but uh, that's it. Any comments, questions, leave them down below. Don't forget, uh, check out michaelsfishing.com for the holiday season. I am shipping this week of Christmas, uh, the week, sorry, before Christmas. Then I will stop for probably a week or two. And then as long as the weather's okay, I will resume in uh, the first week of January. So, guys, if you found this video helpful, please tell your friends and consider subscribing. You can certainly share it in your guppy groups if you like. And uh, have a great day, everyone. Thanks. The, when, when they're all like this, it's usually just poor water quality. War quality. A low quality... I'm going to start that again. Usually when... We should probably give it a second so I can edit good because, you know. That's the best thing you can do for your fish. Good, clean water. Zero ammonia, zero nitrates, and I would say under 40 nitrates. So, yeah. That, what does this have to do with the price of tea in China? Nothing. So, yeah, this, I, nope, nope.